Recently, the Russian light multi-purpose aircraft LMS-901 Baikal project received new life. Reports suggest that the initiative was on the verge of termination last month. The Russian authorities refuted that claim. The state program development of the aviation industry has completed the four phases of creating the light multi-purpose aircraft LMS-901 Baikal, according to the most recent information. The Russian Ministry of Industry and Trade has announced a competition for research and development work to refine and equip the LMS-901 with a power plant incorporating the VK-800SM engine and the AV-901 propeller under the project code LMS-5 to finalize the aircraft's development. The government contract provides for R&D at the LMS-5 stage, with completion set for December 17, 2027. The contract is divided into nine phases. The initial contract price is about 10.3 billion rubles, which is about USD 124.38 million. The initial phase, coded LMS, commenced on October 10, 2019, with the execution of a contract. During this phase, a conceptual and technical design was developed, design documentation was prepared, and a prototype aircraft was built for static testing. Subsequently, this prototype was upgraded to its first flight-ready version under a contract dated September 21, 2021, with the code LMS-2. Two prototype aircraft were produced in 2022 under the code LMS-3, which was assigned to a contract dated May 11th. The aircraft, its components, and its assemblies will undergo these preliminary tests which include static tests and certification procedures in 2026. The V800 SM engine and AV901 propeller were developed simultaneously with the LMS901 aircraft. Preliminary tests were conducted and three engine prototypes and five propellers were manufactured in accordance with a contract dated September 26, 2022. The primary goal of the LMS5 stage is to complete the LMS-901 Baikal development with a domestic power plant. This entails refining engine and propeller prototypes, executing certification tests, and preparing documentation to obtain a type certificate. Additionally, the engine's and propeller's operational scope will be expanded, necessitating modifications to the design documentation and additional testing. Manufacturing and refining LMS-901 prototypes is one of the most critical responsibilities. Preliminary and static tests will be implemented in 2025, and certification documentation will be generated. The primary modification for expanded aircraft applications should be approved by 2026, following the completion of all key tests, including certification work, technical modifications, and additional testing, such as static and certification tests, will be necessary to adapt the LMS-901 to the VK800SM engine and AV901 propeller. It is anticipated that all necessary tasks will be finalized by 2026, which will enable the aircraft to undergo certification. Furthermore, additional certification work will be conducted from 2026 to 2027 to broaden the operational capabilities of the engine and propeller. This phase covers the enhancement of their service life and the evaluation of modified prototypes. To accomplish these objectives, it will be necessary to construct numerous test platforms for the AV901 propeller and VK800SM engine certification, as well as all refinement and testing of the aircraft, engine, and propulsion should be finalized by 2027. The flight and takeoff landing characteristics of the LMS901 aircraft will be verified by updating the working design documentation in accordance with the results of the tests. One of these attributes is a maximum operational altitude of 3,000 meters and a cruise speed of 250 kilometers per hour. The flight range is contingent upon the payload. With a maximal payload of 1,500 kilograms plus an emergency fuel reserve for 45 minutes, the range is 745 kilometers. However, a payload of 810 kilograms with the same emergency fuel reserve increases the range to 1,520 kilometers. Aerodromes classified E with restrictions D and higher can use the aircraft. It necessitates a departure distance of 380 meters at the maximum takeoff weight and a landing distance of 275 meters at the maximum landing weight. Furthermore, the runway is subject to a maximum allowable wind speed of 18 meters per second for headwinds 
6 meters per second for crosswinds at a 90 degree angle to the runway and 3 meters per second for tailwinds. The LMS-5 stage of R&D must attain a technology readiness level of at least technology readiness level 8, TRL-8, in accordance with the national standard of the Russian Federation. The TRL-8 signifies that technology has been thoroughly developed and qualified through rigorous testing in its final operational form under realistic conditions. At this point, the system is fully functional and ready to be put into its intended operational environment. It has passed all critical tests to make sure it meets the design specifications and functional requirements. The technology must exhibit finalized hardware and software configurations that have been validated in real-world scenarios to achieve TRL-8 for the LMS-5 stage under Russia's national standards. There should be no unresolved technical hazards that could potentially impact reliability or performance. Furthermore, documentation and procedures must be consistent with the operational deployment requirements. By this stage, systems are tested with full payloads and environmental stresses, just like in the mission. In aerospace applications like the LMS-901 aircraft program, achieving TRL-8 involves completing flight qualification tests, finalizing production designs, and acquiring regulatory certifications. The need for TRL-8 at LMS-5 shows that Russia is serious about using fully tested technologies that don't need any further adjustments to be made before they can be used in real life. This guarantees that technologies are reliable, robust, and adhere to all essential standards for secure and efficient operation. Now, do you think this plane will even meet the 2027 target? Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us. In aerospace applications like the LMS-901 aircraft program, achieving TRL-8 involves completing flight qualification tests, finalizing production designs, and acquiring regulatory certifications. The need for TRL-8 at LMS-5 shows that Russia is serious about using fully tested technologies that don't need any further adjustments to be made before they can be used in real life. This guarantees that technologies are reliable, robust, and adhere to all essential standards for secure and efficient operation. Now, do you think this plane will even meet the 2027 target? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.